What do you seek? The need for us as humans to seek after something is a reality which is seen around us, felt within us, and evidenced even by neuroscience. You see, our quest to seek answers, to learn new and better things, can often leave us feeling like our lives will always be halfway full, like we haven't quite arrived yet, and leave us saying the words from one of my generation's anthems, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. And that actually is biblical. In Colossians 3, we are called to such searching. We read, Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven. That word set means to seek after, to look for, or strive to find. And the scriptures are full of examples of this kind of striving for people, places, things, and conditions. So don't give up seeking. Rather, this verse tells us to adjust our search away from this world and instead set our sights and our search on the things of heaven. Whenever we focus on the things of this world as the fulfillment to our souls, we will remain deeply unsatisfied. So how do we set our sights on the realities of heaven? We need to stare straight into the physical realities of this world through them and into the realities of heaven. As one small example, consider wealth. From a worldly perspective, there are certainly ways that we measure wealth through bottom line figures, signs of achievements, keys that open doors to better living. Yet the reality of a heavenly perspective clearly shows that striving for worldly wealth is temporal. As the phrase says, you can't take it with you. Instead, be rich in love, righteousness, sobriety, truth, and hope. These are things that are daily investments which will have eternal dividends. Most importantly, when we set our sights on heaven, we see Jesus. Listen one more time to that verse in Colossians. Since you have been raised to new life with Christ, set your sights on the realities of heaven, where Christ sits in the place of honor at God's right hand. So what are you seeking after today? Seek what the Lord calls you to set your sights on, the things of heaven. This is discipleship. Setting your eyes on Jesus, following Him, being changed by Him, and being committed to His mission. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, help us to not get overly focused on the things of this world, but instead to be able to lift our sights and set them on the things of heaven. For that is where you are pointing us, that is where you are leading us, and Lord, that is where you call us to set our sights. And so may it be true this day. May we see the things of this world and around us and look right through those into the sights of heaven, reminding ourselves and one another that that is the pursuit that we are on in this life. Be with us in Jesus' name.